guys, this is Teacher SP. It's me again. And uh, today, I will be teaching again mathematics. So, uh, pero may computation when it comes to money. Di po ba? Ito naman ang kailangan natin. And you know guys, this is very important because we are using that in our daily lives. Ginagamit po natin yon. Uh, like for example, kung uh, tayo po ay maglulun sa banko o di ba maglulun sa mga financial institutions. So, if you are ready, so please keep watching. interest guys from my previous lesson we talk about the simple interest we have the interest is equal to prt but gilamitan po natin the time is in years and the time is in months today we will i will be sharing to you kung paano naman po kapag ginamitan po ng araw okay so um, ito po yung the difference the exact and the ordinary so what is the difference between the two when we are talking about the ordinary interest guys noon um, like for example when we borrow money from the bank ginagamitan po talaga yan ng 360 days and some of the financial institution they are using exact interest so kapag ginamitan mo ng ordinary interest ginamitan po natin ng time na 360 days okay Ito po yung ginagamit sa ordinary interest. And sa exact naman po ay ginagamitan po natin ng 365 days or additional of 1 day, 366 sa leap year. Okay, ngayon, I'm going to show you kung paano po ninyo masosolve what is the difference ng isang problem. I use the same problem and let us compare later on kung ano po yung exact talaga po. Okay, exact. So I have here... An amount of 37,500 was borrowed at 8 and 1 half percent simple interest for 120 days. So, uh, what are you going to do, guys? Is you need to do uh, write the given first. The given are what are the given? Ang given po natin na 37,500, guys, is your principal amount. So, principal is equal to 37,500. And your rate is equal to 8 and 1 half percent. We know that 1 half is 0.5, right? Okay, so bago po ninyo yun, gagami, uh, change mo sa decimal. So we know that this is 8.5. 8.5 kasi 1 half is um, 50 eh. Diba? So 8.5. Ngayon, papalitan pa rin po natin so that this is not the correct answer eh. Hindi pa siya nakasimplify. So, from the decimal point, you have to move two places to the right, right? To the left. One, two. So, that will be equal to 0 0.085. This will be your time. And after that, the, the rate, the time is 120 days. Okay, so you have your given already. So, that's the right time that you are going to... Uh, use the formula interest is equal to PRT. PRT. So interest is equal to what is your principal there? Your principal is 37,500 times the rate of 0 0.085 times the time. So we know that our time is 120 days. Pero, we are using the ordinary interest. So, divide mo po yun by 360. Okay, so, if you will be using your calculator, guys. So, I have here my calculator with me. 
And if you will be using your calculator, you have to do the operation first, guys. So 120 divided by 360 equals, and then multiply it by 0 0.085, then times again 37,500, then will give you equal to, so that is equal to 1,062. Point fifty, so one thousand pesos, right? So one thousand sixty-two and uh, point fifty pe as uh, sets. Okay, this is now the interest. Okay, so kung hinira mo po yung pera for the amount of thirty-seven thousand five hundred, and um, the financial institution asks you to, okay, I will be giving you eight point five percent or 8.5% using 120 days. 120 days lang po yun hanggang yan. Mag, 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 um, babayaran mo yun within 120 days. And you will be paying only for the interest of 1,062.50. Okay, ito po yung sa ordinary interest. Now, let us check whether ano ang mas malaking interest. Ordinary ba? or the exact so same given guys so our uh, interest is equal to prt but our time here is divided by 365 kasi gumamit tayo ng exact interest so interest is equal to principal is 37500 times 0 0.085 times a 120 divided by 360. Okay, so let us check, guys, if um, the value, so we'll do the 365 days. 365 because we're talking about the exact interest. So 120 divided by 365 equals, and then multiply it by 0 0.085 times again by 37,000. 500. So, it will give you with the amount of 1,047, 1,047.95 cents. Okay, let us compare. Okay, ano po dyan ang mababang interest? So, ang mababang interest is if they are using 365 days compared than the ordinary interest, okay? So, pero mostly here in the, in the Philippines, they are using the bank. If you want to borrow money from the bank, from the financial institution, they are using the ordinary interest, and that is equal to 360 days, okay? So, I will be giving you another example, and um, hindi na po nakalagay ang days, ang, ang time natin, 120 days. So, we will be doing counting in from the calendar or we will be using the natural method okay so